Hi, my name is Holly and I'm the children's librarian at Alamosa Public Library in Alamosa, Colorado, and this is Storytime Online. It's time to share a story, a story, a story. It's time to share a story, a story today with families and a grocery cart and food and farmers. It's time to share a story, a story today. All of our stories today have something to do with food and where we get it and where it comes from. So I thought we would start with this story by Katherine Falwell. It's called Feast for Ten. Here's a family with one, two, three, four, five children and one grown up. And what is this in the middle here, do you think? I think it's a grocery cart. Where do you think they are? At the grocery store, probably. Let's read Catherine Falwell's story, Feast for Ten. She wrote the words and created these collage illustrations. We'll talk about those too. One cart into the grocery store. There's the number one. Can you point to it on your screen? There's the number one. And there's one cart into the grocery store. Two pumpkins for pie. Can you point to the number two? There it is. Let's count the pumpkins. One, two. Three chickens to fry. Three. One, two, three. Four children off to look for more. Four. One, two, three, four. Five kinds of beans. Five. One, two, three. Four, five. Maybe you know what kind of bean this is. Jelly bean. Six bunches of greens. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven dill pickles stuffed in a jar. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think the baby likes still pickles. She's clapping. Eight ripe tomatoes. Can you point to the number eight? Eight. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine plump potatoes. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten hands to help load the car. Can you point to the number ten? There it is. It's two numbers together. One and a zero makes ten. Ten hands. Oh boy. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten helping hands. Who are they helping? The grown up. Then one car home from the grocery store. One, one. <laughs> two will look. One, two. Three will cook. 
One, two, three. Four will taste and ask for more. Four, one, two, three, four. Five empty cans. Five, one, two, three, four, five. They put them in the recycling bin. Six pots and pans. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven more carrots to wash and peel. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more, seven. Eight platters down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Phew. I had to look very carefully, did you? Nine chairs around. Oh boy, let's see if we can find nine chairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten hungry folks to share the meal. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We did it. That looks like a wonderful meal. Ah, <gasps> and dessert. Remember these beans? Jelly beans. This is what I like for dessert. A good book. The end. Catherine Falwell wrote the words, but she also created these collage illustrations. A collage is artwork that's created when you cut something up and glue it together in a new way to create art. Now, whenever we cut something, we safely use our scissors and we always ask a grown-up first. So once you ask your grown-up for help with scissors, you can also ask them for some newspaper to cut. We definitely don't cut our library books, and we do not cut the books on our shelf, and we always ask for something safe to cut. So ask some grown-ups maybe for some newspaper that you can cut to make collage art. You can cut out pictures of the foods from the grocery store, like, ooh, I see something that I like, cherries right on the front. So I'm going to use my scissors to carefully cut some cherries. And then, so here I have my cherries and I can glue them on a separate piece of paper with just a little touch of glue on the back of my cherries and stick it on a different piece of paper to create some artwork. Maybe I could draw a grocery cart on my paper to glue my pictures in. Or maybe I could glue them on a paper grocery bag. That would be cute. I watched a video about how Miss Falwell creates her artwork and she said that sometimes she uses wrapping paper or fabric, all kinds of different scraps to cut the shapes to make the pictures for her books. You can watch that video too. You can click the link below and watch Miss Falwell talk about how she makes her collages. And then maybe you'd like to make one too. One of my favorite songs is actually about going to the grocery store. And it's by a singer and songwriter named Hap Palmer. And I'd like to share it with you. I'm gonna play it on my auto harp. But it's really fun to act out. It's a song about a kid named Sammy. And Sammy and his father are making some sandwiches and run out of bread. So Sammy's father asks him to walk to the store to buy bread. But you'll see what happens. Sammy doesn't really feel like walking. And so he acts out different ways to get to the store. And you can do that too. 
I'll play it for you. It goes like this. This is a story about Sammy. His father sent him out to buy bread. But Sammy didn't feel like walking. He wished he could fly instead. And he said, if I were a bird, I could fly to the store, fly to the store, fly to the store. If I were a bird, I could fly to the store, fly to the store for my father. This is a story about Robin. Her mama sent her out to buy bread. But Robin didn't feel like walking. She wished she could swim instead. And she said, if I were a fish, I could swim to the store, swim to the store, swim to the store. If I were a fish, I could swim to the store, swim to the store for my mother. This is a story about Miles. His father sent him out to buy bread. But Miles didn't feel like walking. He wished he could hop instead. And he said, if I were a bunny, I could hop to the store, hop to the store, hop to the store. If I were a bunny, I could hop to the store, hop to the store for my father. This is a story about Louie. Her mother sent her out to buy bread. But Louie didn't feel like walking. She wished she could crawl instead. And she said, if I were a bug, I could crawl to the store, crawl to the store, crawl to the store. If I were a bug, I could crawl to the store, crawl to the store for my mother. Then Sammy and his friends remembered the bread and knew they better move along. And as they walked, each one smiled and made up a brand new song. I'm glad I'm me. I'm walking to the store, walking to the store, walking to the store. Glad I'm me, and I'm walking to the store, walking to the store for my family. Another one of my favorite songs is also about going to the grocery store, and it's by one of my favorite singer songwriters, Raffi. You can find his song, Corner Grocery Store, by clicking the link below. And if you like that song, you might also like his whole album that's also called The Corner Grocery Store. One last rhyme about grocery shopping. You can keep the beat while I say the chant using your hands to pat your knees or use your hands to clap the beat or use your fingers to tap the beat. It goes like this. Let's go to the grocery store, the grocery store, the grocery store. Let's go to the grocery store and get some things to eat. We'll buy bread and eggs and milk. Eggs and milk, eggs and milk. We'll buy bread and eggs and milk and maybe something sweet. Thanks for joining me today. If you would like to find some more books about grocery shopping and where food comes from, you can find our book list called Fun With Food on our online catalog. Just click the link below. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, sweet baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Goodbye! Psst! Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.